Hi, this is Lisa Mae DeMacy with another Equus Film Festival web chat here with great equestrian artist, Nancy Smith. Welcome, Nancy. Oh, thank you, Lisa Mae. I really appreciate you doing this for me. Oh, we're glad to have you. So I want to learn just a little bit about your background. I understand you were formerly educated in fine art, but your first career was in the corporate world. You're now focusing on a new path as a portrait artist. Can you tell us a little bit about making that transition and what brought you back to the canvas? Well, um, I started drawing when I was a little child. I can remember my mother saying I would be so good. She could lead me for hours to color. And I went to college. I got my degree in fine arts, but um, my path led to the corporate world where I really didn't have time to pursue uh, artwork at that point. Um, I left that. Um, unfortunately, right after I left that job, I developed breast cancer. And that took me down a, a different path. Um, and that was all encompassing, unfortunately, at the time. I'm happy to report I'm a 15 year breast cancer survivor. So it all worked out really well. Um, then my life changed again. And I had my parents were elderly and living in Florida. And my dad was my mom's caregiver, and he was struggling with that. So I agreed to move down and take care of both of them until they uh, passed away in 2014. So again, I didn't really have time to do art um, with that. And um, I guess around the next year, 2015, with it, when everything finally settled down, um, I said, you know what? I'm gonna go back to what I love doing because I always had that in the back of my mind, even when I was working in corporate that, God willing, I would have the opportunity to do this, even if it's later in life. Um, and so I started my journey as an artist in 2015 and haven't looked back since. Oh, that's amazing. That's so great. Uh, the breadth of your incredible body of work depicts a range of horses, some with their human companions. You utilize different mediums and techniques. And your festival, festival entry, Dominiqua, a portrait of a horse in pastel. Can you tell us about the inspiration and significance of this piece? Well, Dominica, I happen to know her owner. Yeah, her owner has two horses that she absolutely loves to pieces. And I was thrilled when she asked me to do Dominica's portrait. Um, her owner, although she's not an artist, is extremely artistic. And with every portrait I start, I may have a vision uh, in my mind of what the portrait's going to finish portrait's going to look like. But the bottom line is this is something that the client has to be happy with because they're going to be looking at it probably for the rest of their lives. So we conversed back and forth. Um, it was very challenging because her owner said that she wanted the piece to be ethereal. And I thought, okay, what does that mean? And she also loves flowers. And she wanted that incorporated in the piece. And of course, Dominica has these gorgeous amber colored eyes. So I had to accent that. And um, we went back and forth and back and forth, um, trying different things, different sketches, until I came up with something I think both of us were really happy with. This piece actually pushed me out of my comfort zone. It's unlike any other classic portraits that I normally do with a bridal or a halter and that. And I loved it. I can't wait to do a few more like this. Along with right now, I am trying different mediums. I'm basically a pastel artist. Um, I'm now starting to work with oils and watercolors also. Uh -huh. So the path is constantly changing and it's very exciting and I love what I do. But the best part of this is that 
it's an ability to make people happy. And that's what I love about doing this kind of art. So that's great. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it sounds like, you know, that you're, that it's all changing for you and it, you continue to grow as an artist also. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And that's important to me. Sure. Sure. Um, is there anything else that you'd like us to know about your work? No, other than, like I said, keep an eye open uh, for my artwork because there may be some surprises. Dominica's portrait was as much a surprise to me, I think, as to her <laughs> owner. And I'm just totally enjoying this time in my life, um, creating, like I said, making people happy, mm -hmm. um, doing different things, and being around horse people and dog people. I do dogs also. Uh, they're a great group of people. Um, and actually, through the horses, I have some of the closest friends that I've had in my life. And I'm so very blessed to be able to bring this forward to people. And um, that's, that's really about it in a nutshell. That's great. So where can we find your work? Okay, I have a website. Um, this gets a little tricky because my last name Smith is spelled with a Y. So it's nancysmithfineart.com. But Smith, you have to spell with a Y because there's also a Nancy Smith with an I out there and her artwork is beautiful but that might pop up and you might say hmm where are all the horses <laughs> so it's nancysmithfineart.com excellent um any last words for our festival aud audience before we sign off no not really i'm just so thrilled to be part of this and i appreciate you taking the time today for the interview and um that's really about it. I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing and try to get better at what I'm doing and um, spread the love. Wonderful. Well, uh, we're so happy that you're part of the festival this year. Oh, thank you. I'm thrilled. I really am. This is a highlight of my career. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Lisa May. You have a great weekend. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye.